This is my signature hand forged bangle. So I start out with scrap sterling silver and I pour it into a crucible with my acetylene torch I just melt the scrap silver into molten silver and it takes a little while There's some casting flux I add to just purify it a little bit more. The heat really purifies it. You can see it turn to molten. It's getting more and more liquefied. Molten metal is really fun to work with, but it does get hard fast so you <laughs> just have to keep working with it and be sure it's completely liquefied before I pour it into the ingot mold. So I quickly pour it into the ingot mold. I take the silver out, I put it in the pickle solution and then rinse that off. cold to the touch and I'm going to walk over and just trim off that funny little end and then run it through the rolling mill and I'll roll it through the rolling mill several times about three or four times and kneeling between each maybe third or fourth turn of the rolling mill Again, drip, drop it in the pickle, rinse it, and run it through that rolling mill again three or four times, and then anneal it repeatedly until I have a nice square wire that I can bend into a bangle. Use a little silver solder and some flux. Solder flows to the heat, so you want a very even hand so that you get a nice, clean, clean joint. Again, rinsing it in the pickle and cleaning it with water so that it's safe to handle. I will make it round. And then I just hammer it flat so that I have a flat surface to work with before I'm forging. Then I begin to just forge out the bangle to the size I want it to be. Forging moves the metal rather than just striking it with a texture. It's moving that metal out. Kind of gives it soul. Again, in between three or four turns of forging, it needs to be annealed. Metal will get work hardened and then it will break if you don't anneal it. Just continuing to forge it. This is just the last step. That just gives it a nice shine. polish is just a hand polish to clean it and just give it that again a more soulful kind of feel and
touch and look. And I'll stamp it with my Maker's Mark. And then stamp it sterling silver.